So when we were researching for our newest film, Journey to the South Pacific, we came across this incredible story of this floating classroom called the Calabia. For us, it was the perfect tool to really take audiences to these amazing places in Raja Ampat. I'm Warda Amir, one of the teachers on Calabia. We travel to all 132 villages around Raja Ampat. The kids are so excited when we arrive. I am probably the only Western presence on this ship, really. The most important element from the beginning is having local instructors. So not only Indonesian, but actually from Raja Ampat, who speak one of the 17 different languages that exist in the region. There's another element too, I mean, having these local older brothers and sisters, the kids in the villages feel inspired. You know, this is their family. What's really exciting about how the Calabia teaches the kids is they do it in a fun way. In one scene in particular, they showed how the coral polyps reach out and grab food. So what we were able to do with that is both show this really fun interactive game, but then transition to what it actually looks like on the reef. These kids have essentially grown up in the water, playing every morning, jumping off the dock, and even though they've been water babies from birth, a lot of them have never had the opportunity to use a mask and actually see everything that is on the reef. And we try to take them to spots where there's a very good example of a healthy reef, but we also take them to some damaged areas so that they can see with their own eyes the, the difference between those healthy reefs and those damaged reefs. Here in Raja Ampat, singing and dancing are very important to our culture. We sing about everything. On the Calabia, we teach the children songs about protecting the reef and to have pride and love for the habitats in our backyard. In the villages that we visited and we've come back to again, to hear the fact that they're out there singing the Calabia songs. We haven't been in this village for two years and we come back and they're still singing those songs that they learned aboard the Calabia. It's I'm getting goosebumps right now. It's pretty, it's pretty thrilling. That is incredibly rewarding. What's cool about the Calabia is that it teaches the islanders how important their reefs are and what they can do to protect their reefs. And that's something that I think we can all take as a lesson for everywhere that we live.